All right, guys, this is my 40A Buick. And today, as you guys saw in the title, we're gonna be replacing the fuel filter that goes on the line. As you guys can see right now, I have no filter. The one that I had in there was this one and it's extremely dirty as you guys can see. And I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the filter. It's very easy, no tools required. So this is the old one and this is the new one that I'm gonna be putting in. So as you guys can see, this one is 100% better. So the problem that I was having, since this filter was so dirty, the fuel wasn't coming through you know, wasn't passing the filter. Every time the pump, which is all the way down there, will pump gas, it will stay stuck here, and it wouldn't let, the filter wouldn't let the gas go to the line and eventually go to the carburetors. First thing that you wanna do, obviously, is unscrew this nut that it has here, and then these two hold downs are gonna be released and you're gonna be able to bring down the cup or the glass ball. Make sure that you have something below to catch any extra fuel. And always try to do this with your car turned off at least for a couple of hours or maybe a day or two. That way there is less chances of fuel being on the, on the lines. So what I did, I threw away the gas that I had in the ball. The reason why is because it has some dirt and I don't want anything to be running through the lines and potentially getting the carburetor stuck. <clears throat> so clean it up. You have a gasket. I'm not gonna be using the, the gasket that I had when you order the filter, it comes with a new gasket. So make sure that you put the gasket. Otherwise, you're gonna start leaking gas. Make sure you clean the bottom of the filter or, or the base in this case. This is how it's gonna go. It's gonna go like that. And the filter has a metal base. So you're gonna put it with the metal facing down. Like that. And so that I don't have to put gas in the carburetor, I put a little bit of the old gas in the glass ball. And now I'm gonna put this clips back on. Now make sure that it's tight. That way, there's no gas leaking through when you start the car. Remember that this is gonna generate pressure, and if it's not well locked, you're gonna leak gas. All right, just like that, the car is running, and that's how it looks. Just so you know, this glass ball is supposed to be full all the way up. It's not supposed to be halfway down or down here. It's supposed to be full all the way up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, this is my 48 Buick. If you guys know anyone interested in buying it, I'm selling it. It's a 1948 Buick Sedanet. It has a nice interior, nice paint. It has an inline eight. It has no rust whatsoever. And it rusts like a champ. It has dual carburetor, dual exhaust. So if you guys know anyone interested in buying it, hit me up on Instagram at Generation Old School. Always make sure that there is no gas leaking because if, la if gas falls on the coil, or in this case, the spark plugs are covered, but if your spark plugs are not covered, like in the case of a, four, uh, of a 51 Chevy with an inline six, if gas falls in there, it might cut on fire. So always make sure that this is dry with no leaks at all. Thank you guys, give this video a like.